Okay, time to take a look at the 20 watt solar charger. Okay. That's cool. So we can use these terminal leads so we can actually screw these directly to the battery. If we want to be able to take this thing off quickly, we can just use these alligator clamps to clamp onto the battery. And if we're just looking for easy mode, we can plug this directly into the cigarette lighter and use that to charge the car. Very cool having all those options. It comes with magnets to attach it. And they are fairly strong magnets, so that's good. And it's using eyelets to attach it, which is a good idea. So that means we could actually just use some kind of a strap to uh, tie it down if we're worried about wind or anything like that picking it up. So we got six of these. We got our instruction manual, and then we have the panel itself. So you can see this is a double wide, so that's how you can tell that this is a 20 watt charger. And we got our controller right here, so we can make sure we're not gonna overcharge that battery, because that would be very bad. So it's very nice. So essentially, we're gonna be able to just plug this thing in, and then we're gonna have to worry about that battery being dead if we're gonna come back to it a month or even months later. So this is something I like to see. It actually says the controller will automatically shut off at night when it's not generating power. So that's very nice. Essentially, what that means is, because this controller is gonna use some power to actually run the components inside of it, you don't have to worry about that actually draining the battery whenever the solar panel is not creating a charge and we can see all the ratings on the back so that's nice most importantly we can see we got these indicator lights and what those actually mean so green means that it's fully charged red means that it's charging blue means it's under the sun and it's gonna have no lights if there's a short circuit so if you plug the battery in backwards or anything like that it's just not going to show anything and it's nice and lightweight so i like to see that and we got this nice clear protection going over the top of it to make sure that these cells aren't going to get damaged we got the holes drilled into the side so all we got to do is install those magnets and something else i just noticed is there's actually a little bit of a foam protection on here so i don't have to worry about it scratching your car so we're going to take off the eyelet and there's a little plastic ring right here so this plastic is going to go on the bottom this plastic is going to go on the top and that's going to sandwich between it to help protect that solar panel cool okay Let's go ahead and plug that guy in and see how it works. So we got positive to positive and negative to negative. Kind of hard to see, but we got a blue light and a red light. So blue means that it is under the sun, so it's getting a charge. Red means that it's charging. And if it was green, that would mean it's fully charged. Yeah, no, that's a that's an awesome truck. This is the guy in question, and it's kind of sitting in storage. It's a great truck, but it's just not something that you drive every day. <laughs> so this is gonna be what we're gonna be putting this panel on. Make sure that battery is always working whenever we do want to drive it. Okay, so we got it right here just so you can see it. You can see out the wire underneath and then we are plugged into the cigarette outlet so that's one option now because of where we're at the sun is kind of just overhead and it's going to be going left to right so if we put it right on the roof right there this is actually parked perfectly to where we can get that thing charged up just like that and if we want to connect directly to the battery we just got it connected right there positive positive negative negative and then we can just let that guy charge it up. Now just make sure the battery stays charged up so next time we go to start it, it will actually start.